I'm going to entitle this video IP addresses and subnet mass and the usable list of IP addresses given a particular subnet mass. Okay. So I'm going to make up a class B address of 186.25.72.1. That is the IP address. I'm going to give a, a subnet mass of slash 26. Okay. Now, slash 26 is 255.255.255. Hold on, 192. Dot 192. I had to think about that for a second. Dot 192. Because it'll be 128, the first bit, and then plus 92, no, plus 64 will be 192. So that would be the, uh, hold on, let me just see something. All right, 128 and 64. Two, eight, four, two, one, six, and two, eight, and just nine. Yes, correct. One ninety-two. I just had to double check my math there. It's been a long time since I've done since I've done this. Okay, so uh, the block would be a sixty-four block because you would take one ninety-two and you would subtract it from two fifty-six to get the uh, the block that you would use. Two fifty-six minus one ninety-two. And I believe it's 64, six and two is four, five and nine, I'm gonna come over here, uh, make that a one, make that a 15, correct? Five, 15 minus nine is six, 64. Okay, so you have a 64 block. So you look at the interesting octet, and interesting octet is the 102, correct? So the 102, so, Zero to 64 will be one block. 64 to 128 will be another block. Right? So the 102 falls in between here, 102. So the first usable address will be 65. And then the last usable address will be 126. 127 will be the broadcast address. All right? All my network engineers are following me right here. So, it would be 186.25.76, right, dot, uh, I can't even think, oh, dot 65 would be the first usable host. That would be the first host. And then, uh, 